Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and, and I'm doing an update on a tag video that I actually did a few months ago. I haven't done a tag video in quite a while, so I was trying to look up some other tag videos on YouTube, and I came across, again, the four or more tag. This is a tag that I actually did a few months ago for my thank you for 100 subscriber video. And I just, I, A, I can't believe how far the channel has come since then, and B, it was so much fun to see like a video from, I think it was February, that came out versus like how my videos look now. And I'm just really happy for each and every subscriber that I have. And I'm really happy that this hobby that I love allows me to talk about like my really obscure knowledge for makeup, like in everyday life. No one's gonna ask me like, oh, what brand highlighter are you wearing? Like, or, oh, what's this eyeshadow palette versus this eyeshadow palette? Like, <laughs> this is really the only place where I can come and chat and be with people that are just as into the obscure niche that is makeup that I am. <laughs> and I'm just really happy that I have so many subscribers and that you all enjoy my content. So it was just really um, humbling again just to go back and watch that video and see how far the channel has gone. So I really wanted to do an update of that video. My makeup collection has grown a bit since then, so I do have more products that I do own four or more of. I don't want to repeat myself from that video, so I'm not going to repeat any of the products that I mentioned in that video. In that video, I mentioned um, ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, uh, Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, ColourPop liquid lipsticks, Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks, Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, and then the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip, and then the Stila Glitter and Glows. I still have all those products with the exception of some ColourPop products. I did declutter a good amount of eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. I have not been enjoying their um, Super Matte Liquid or the Ultra Matte lip formula, so I have gotten rid of quite a few of those as well. But for the most part, those are all the same. I still love the Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula. I still have all of them. I still have all the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits. Thoughts are the same on those as well. And I have even more of the Jeffree Star Liquid Lips, the minis, as he has come out with a couple new bundles since that video. So before we jump into the video about what other products I now have four or more of, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up if you like tag videos, and if you want to see any more tag videos, I hope you would consider subscribing hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. First off, can I just say how much I'm loving this eye look right here. I, I am falling more and more in love with this eyeshadow palette right here from ColourPop. This is the Good Spore eyeshadow palette. I adore it. The shimmers in this palette are so unique that I don't have anything like it in my collection, including the green that I have on my eyes today. This is called Ebb and I, I cannot get enough of it. So I really am enjoying this palette. I'm also still testing out black lipsticks for the black lipstick video that will be coming out. I'm currently wearing Weirdo by Jeffree Star. Okay, so let's jump in. So I'm only gonna mention one um, eyeshadow palette like cluster since I seem to talk nonstop about eyeshadow palettes, but the eyeshadow palettes that I do own for of, and I will own more because I'm gonna buy the new palette that just came out, are the ABH eyeshadow palettes. I will be purchasing the Sultry palette as soon as it is available from Sephora, but I do have the Norvina palette, the Soft Glam palette, the Subculture palette, and the Modern Renaissance palette. I absolutely adore every palette that I've picked up from ABH, like in this packaging formula. I am a bit upset that I got into makeup a little too late to get some of their limited edition palettes because I would have loved like the Mario palette or there was like an artistry palette or something before that that had like a pop of blue. I would love a pop of blue. But these palettes, the formula is spectacular. The only thing I really don't like about these palettes are the packaging because my palettes look disgusting. <laughs> And I know you can clean them, so I probably will clean them someday, but my room gets really dusty. I'm in an attic. You can see the slanted wood wall, so there's going to be dust no matter what. But as soon as a little bit of dust gets on it, like, gross. <laughs> so anyway, love the formula, love how they perform. I love everything. It, also the brushes. I don't like the brushes in these palettes, but that's negligible. The shades are incredible. The blendability is incredible and these palettes last a long 
time. The only palette I've heard of that actually like expires and doesn't work as well after a while is Modern Renaissance, which is right here. I've had this for a while. So this one might be going bad. I haven't noticed anything with it, but I have seen a few videos, especially from Paige from Thrifty Beauty, talking about how hers actually did expire after about a year and a half, which is about as long as I've had this palette. So this one might have to get moved out soon, but this is one that I would buy again like in a heartbeat. You know what, let's just stick with ABH because the next product that I own four or more of are ABH Glow Kits. I have four of the Glow Kits. I have the Moonchild Glow Kit. I have the Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I have the Dream Glow Kit, which is gorgeous. And then I have the Sugar Glow Kit. Out of all of these, my favorites are the Sugar and the Dream Glow Kits. I especially love the Starburst shade in the Sugar Glow Kit, and it is unique just to this Glow Kit, so you can't buy it separately, but I do love that shade. And the Dream Glow Kit is just hypnotic. Hypnotic. These are gorgeous as highlighters, but also as eyeshadows. I used one for my inner corner highlight today. I actually used the shade Magic right here. You can use these all over your lid. You can use these as highlighters. You could use these as, they're multitasking and stunning, especially as we're coming up to Halloween, if you wanna do like a holographic Halloween look, or if you're just looking for like a more unique highlight, this palette's the one for you. Not to say that I don't like the Moon Child or the Sun Dipped. The Sun Dipped is a bit neutral, kind of boring, but this is your like go-to everyday highlight right here. Um, they do have a nice variety of colors to match different skin tones, which is fantastic. I really like Moonstone and Summer. I can make these other two shades with a super light hand or if I use them as eyeshadow, but it's overall a very solid palette. Moonchild was actually the first glow kit that I ever picked up, so it does have a special place in my heart. I personally love the green shaded one, Lucky Clover, and then Blue Ice right up here on the top. The purples are beautiful, but personally I haven't done a lot of looks that would require a purple highlight, but they're very solid. Moving on to another highlighter formula that I own a bunch of, Becca. I own one, two, three, three full-sized, two minis, and four small highlighters from Becca. Becca has an incredible highlighter formula that is 100% what they are known for. And when I first tried out the brand, I got a couple of minis from Sephora. I got a mini in opal and I got a mini in vanilla quartz. Vanilla quartz is very bright, almost white highlight and opal is a bit darker almost kind of like Starburst, but not really. I really don't think you need a full-size highlighter, honestly, unless you get one of their limited edition ones. The limited editions are really hit or miss, quite honestly. You don't really need them, but the only one that I've found that is actually really, really good and worth it was their one for the Royal Wedding. This is in limited edition packaging. I'm not sure if it's still available. I got mine off of QVC, but this is the highlighter in Royal Glow love this highlighter to death. It's probably the only full-size Becca highlighter that I go back to over and over again. I do have the full-sized ones in Prosecco Pop and Moonstone. I've used Moonstone every now and then. I hardly touch Prosecco Pop. I think I got this one in a boxy charm, so I probably could declutter this one if I'm being honest, but I digress. The other four that I have I got because I think they're discontinuing this line and they were all on sale for like $17, which is pretty good for uh, like a mini, not mini highlight. Like these are a decent sized highlight. So I did pick up quite a few of these. These are all from the Light Chaser collection. So I have Opal Flashes Jade, Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini, which is my personal favorite out of these. I also have Topaz Flashes Gilt, which is kind of a green tinted one that I think is really nice. And then Pearl Flashes Gold, which I think out of the four of these, 
I could do without. Again, I do compare this one to Starburst from ABH quite a bit, but I'm a huge fan of like that pinky peachy highlight, especially for my skin tone and my complexion. But these are some great highlighters that you can get if they're on sale. I don't know if I would have paid the full price for them, considering they were like 34 and these are smaller than a full-sized Becca highlight. But I do think these are 100% worth it on sale. Not sure if they're still available though, because I was pretty sure that they're going to discontinue these. Moving on to some liquid shadows. These are fairly hit or miss, both of the brands, but the first brand I'm going to talk about is Wet n Wild. I do have four of their liquid cat suit liquid eyeshadows, and all four of these are from their Gothic Graphic Collection. I did do a whole video on the entire Wet n Wild Gothic Graphic Collection, I'll throw that up in the cards, and if you saw that video, you'll know I'm not really a huge fan of these. These are not opaque, not really at all. They crease like crazy. There was one shade in here. I think it's this one. Yes. So it was this one. This is Pure Intention. Pure Intention was the only one that actually looked good upon application, but then I wore it throughout the day and I had these horrible, gross creases in my eye by the end of the day. And you could see it from far away. Like it wasn't just like you look up close and you can see it. No, it looked bad. I have not touched these since my review. <laughs> Not sure why I still have them. I need to do a huge declutter in my makeup collection. I know people have been wanting more longer videos from me and I've kind of been um, averaging between like five and ten minute videos so I do want to do some more longer videos and one of those is going to be a huge declutter. I'm not going to declutter just different sections of a makeup collection with the exception of eyeshadow palettes because that was almost an hour long. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna declutter my entire collection in one video. The next liquid shadows that I have four or more of are all from the Kylie Weather Collection from Kylie Cosmetics. If you saw that video, I also did a whole video on that one. I was actually really proud of that video. I put a lot of work into it. These were super hit or miss, these liquid shadows. They, she had, um, they came in packs of two. So she had one pack, which was like this copper and purple, the more colorful pack. And then she had these neutrals, which was like a brown and then kind of like a champagne color over here. These performed terribly. The colorful ones, there's hardly any pigment. They almost, like the quality is almost just like the wet and wild ones. So 100% would not recommend those to my worst enemy. The neutral ones, I can actually make work. They're not the best. They're not like better than my Stila's glitter and glows. They're not my top choice whatsoever. But these I can actually make look nice and wear throughout the day. They just take some work. All right, and the last product we're gonna go over, it's gonna be a lip product from ColourPop. I have four or more of their Lux Lips, which is their bullet lipstick formula. I do have uh, 14, wait, can I do math? I do have 12 of these total. One is a black lipstick that I have in my black lipstick drawer right now for testing. And then the other one I actually wore the other day. It was like a dark mauve lipstick. These are very traditional bullet lipsticks. They're gonna be very comfortable on the lips. They're not transfer proof at all, but they're really comfortable. And if you're okay with having to reapply these, definitely after meals, but throughout the day. I think it's a great way to build up a lip collection. I will nitpick. I do not like the packaging, <laughs> only because, let me show you guys an example. I wish they would just do this um, solid across the line, but some of the lipsticks, because you see the way that it's packaged, you can't see the color here. So on some of the lipsticks, they actually put the color on the bottom of the tube. And that's really helpful and I love that. So this one's Gallop, it's like a dark red, and then I have Money Side Up, which is a nice light pink. You can tell that from the tube. I don't know why this was decided or if they just ran out of stickers, but for the majority of the collection, you're only seeing clear stickers. <laughs> So you have the name on here, but I don't have all the names memorized. Like, I don't know what colors these are until I open them up and I'm like, oh, okay, it's a nude. So I really wish they had just done the colored stickers for the whole collection. That way I can just have them all upside down and like know what I'm going for. So that is it for my updated four or more tag. If you have a large makeup collection, even if you don't, let me know down below what products that you own four or more of or if you've rebought it four or more times. I think that's really interesting to learn. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.